How many revolutions per second do you think that is? I don't know. Of course it's not safe. We're still actively working on our pumpkin chunker. The first week we built the frame, and the second week we decided to start working on the rotating arm. We knew we'd want to power this thing with a motor, so we bought a couple old battery-operated power drills. We figured we could probably use one of these to power the machine. So first we had to take them apart and get to the motor. One of the motors ended up coming completely apart. It was very difficult to work with. The other one stayed all together in one piece. You can see here the motor on one end, all the gears in the middle, and the chuck on the other end. The chuck would make it really easy to hook this motor up to an axle. This power drill was recycled, so we didn't even know if it was gonna work. It's an 18 volt drill, but we hooked it up to this 12 volt battery just to see if it'd work. We pulled the trigger. We didn't know it still works. Next we tried cranking it up to 24 volts to see if we can get it to go faster. <laughs> yeah, that's a little more. Whoa. Now for the actual arm, we thought we might be able to use pieces from this bicycle. We figured if we could use the rear wheel, we'd already have the whole freewheel assembly with various different gear sizes. And it freewheels, meaning that the tire will keep rotating even if the motor stops. First, we had to remove the wheel. This thing was really bolted on there, so it took a little bit of work. Now you can see how the freewheel assembly works here. This is what we're really interested in. Next we had to remove the tire. So first we let out all the air, and we slowly pried off the tire. Next we had to figure out how to mount an arm to this thing. We wanted to mount it towards the center like this. So we figured we might as well just drill two holes through the outside and see what happens. We didn't know if it'd be strong enough, but we figured we didn't really have much to lose. Next we drilled a small hole on one end of each of the two pieces of the arm. We slipped these threaded rods through the holes we drilled in the wheel. They meet up in the center. Then we temporarily use zip ties to hold them in place, just so we can get an idea of if this thing might possibly work. Next I cut up some plywood to make a mount for the wheel. We had to drill a hole for the axle to go through. And then I cut it into a slot so we could just set the wheel down into the top of the frame. We set the wheel in place, and so far it seems to work okay. We were able to get it spinning pretty fast just with our hands. There's some obvious kinks to work out. We definitely need a stronger method to hold those threaded rods in place. We also still need to figure out how we're actually going to hook our motor up to this thing. And then of course there's figuring out how to actually get it to launch a pumpkin, but at least we're making some progress. And so far we've managed to design this thing so that it'll break down and fit into one of our cars. Make sure you check back on the channel for more updates on this project. If you enjoyed this video, please like or subscribe to let me know.